And we begin tonight on Blake Street. The Rockies open their home schedule in just about an hour. And yeah, look at this picture. This is striking. Things outside of Coors Field certainly different this year. We're used to seeing those streets just packed with fans. Yeah, I think the one on the right is not this year, mm. uh, unfortunately. So uh, here's side by side look at the 2019 home opener there on Blake Street compared to now. Now the balloons and banners are still there and the crowds, not so much. That's crazy. Well, no matter how you slice it, an empty stadium hurts Colorado business. A May report projected the Rockies as a team to lose more than $130 million this year and the trickle down could crush small businesses. By one estimate, the no fan plan will cost local businesses more than $100 million. Mm. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for watching Denver 7 News at 5. I'm Andrew Heal. And I'm Shannon Ogden. So let's put the last four months aside and focus on the present. The Rockies are back home and they're red hot. That is the good news in our team coverage of the home opener and the impact on Coloradans begins right now with Denver 7's Russell Haythorn in Lodo. Russell? Yeah, you guys are right. The economic impact of all of this could be devastating, has been devastating. But the good news is on the bright side, there are people out and about tonight here in Lodo. Many of them are Rockies fans and they share the same level of optimism and enthusiasm that they typically have this time of the season. They're excited that Rockies baseball is back and the Rockies are off to a great start. They're four and one right now. We have some video to show you from earlier today. Businesses and bars are doing what they can to attract fans to Lodo. In the alley behind the Maven Hotel, one block from Coors Field, they'll have an arts walk while the game is playing on the TVs. The crowds are nowhere near what they typically look like for an opening day, but the Rockies organization tells us today they are still pushing Major League Baseball in the city of Denver to allow 10,000 fans in the stands at some point in the next few weeks. That would be about one person for every five seats. It's really no different than when you go into a restaurant and you're not able to sit at that table. You're able to sit at this table. It's just on a grander scale. I hope so. I have season tickets, so I'm waiting for them to open it up. I realize MLB needs to approve the plan, uh, but I'll be there if I can be there. I'll be there in the seats supporting the team. Here's a different vantage point of Lodo right now. What you're looking at is the intersection of 19th and Blake. It would typically be a zoo. We're about an hour from first pitch and there would be fans everywhere. I mean, hundreds, even thousands of people down here. And it's a virtual ghost town. This is certainly good for public health and safety, I guess, but lousy for business. We'll have much more on Rocky's opening day coming up on Denver 7 at 6. For now, we're live in Lodo. Russell Haythorn, back to you guys. All right, Russell, thank you very much. And when you turn on your TV tonight, you're not going to see an empty stadium. These cardboard cutouts will be in the seats. Rockies made about 100 of them, featuring some famous Rockies from the past. So if the fans are made of cardboard, who's making noise for the home team? Denver 7's Nick Rothschild met the maestro himself and is outside Coors Field right now. Hey, Nick. Yeah, and you know, uh, fans are welcome to come mill about outside of Coors Field, where I am behind home plate. But they're not getting past those gates back there, so baseball is going to look a little different tonight here at 20th and Blake. However, it is one man's job to make sure it still sounds like opening day. As is tradition, tonight Charlie Blackman will enter the batter's box serenaded by the outfield. But the chorus of reverberating voices bellowing. Tonight will be noticeably quieter. I mean, you're so used to, you know, the ball, uh, a ballpark sounding a certain way, and it just doesn't. Without fans in the stands, the task of creating ballpark energy falls to one man, Kent Crossbacken. Well, the main thing we want to do is add energy to our players, give them that home field advantage since the fans aren't here to help them. Among other things, Kent is in charge of playing and manipulating fake crowd noise given to him by Major League Baseball. They actually sent every team an iPad that was already loaded with the files on it. Files from Sony's MLB The Show video game. My son plays the video game all the time. But Kent is less of an orchestral conductor. You pretty much have a low, medium, and large cheer. And more of a river rafting guy. 
you know, you hear the crack of the bat, you can add a little bit of cheer in it, and as it goes over the fence, you can make it even louder. You better believe when Chuck Nasty steps to the plate tonight, Kent will be singing. Yeah, Kent also told me that this is a point of pride for the in-game entertainment crew. They're a part of the team, and their way to influence tonight's game against the Padres is to get those Rockies pumped up. Reporting from outside Coors Field, I'm Nick Rothschild, Denver 7 Sports. Yeah, job more important than ever. Thank you, Nick.